a man allegedly shoots at a CHP officer and barricades himself inside his home in Sacramento County off of uh, Gerber Road. Hey, my name is Lance. I am a live stream news reporter and a private investigator. And I was live streaming this uh, barricaded subject off of uh, Tioga Woods, south of Gerber Road in South Sacramento. So the Sheriff's Department had a press conference. So um, the press conference is going to follow here shortly. But make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click the bell notification so you can be notified when I do go live. Because I go live a lot. Okay. All right, good to go. All right, Sergeant Mark on the spokesman, Sacramento County Sheriff's Office. So this all actually began around 4.30 this afternoon. Uh, we are in an assistance capacity initially. We were with the CHP. So uh, CHP was actually responding to a complaint they received from the office uh, to an area down here on Tomato in the Woods. Uh, from there, the CHP officer who pulled up in front of a residence was actually shot at uh, by a subject who then fled, uh, per the CHP officer observations, fled into a home here. Uh, from there, they were able to develop some containment on that house. Obviously, we had units uh, arrive along with Rancho Cordova PD, uh, other CHP units. So from there, obviously, that perimeter has been established. Since then, you've seen, I mean, an onslaught of more specialized units. Our SED team here, which is our SWAT team, negotiators and everybody have since arrived. They've been trying to establish some contact inside, have been unsuccessful so far. Um, they've tried to call this subject, text this subject, throw in phones inside, PA announcements, you name it, they, they've tried it and have been unsccessful so far. So right now, SED is still on scene, um, still just again, they've been able to clear parts of the house, but not completely, so just trying to establish whether he's still in there or not. Do you know anything about the nature of that issue? Not yet. Uh, I don't know if it, yeah, I don't know what it actually stemmed from, but it was something that required their follow-up. So I'll probably defer to them. Uh, kind of the nature of that. Is there anybody else in the home? No, from what we understand, he was alone. So and then everything that we've been able to clear uh, as far as that part of the house has been public. Yeah. When you say he hasn't been there, so probably that is there a possibility that he's no longer in the house right now? Yeah, I mean it's possible, but the sections of the home we've cleared. Uh, and have been able to clear it. Uh, we haven't been able to locate him or any signs of him there, uh, but there are still areas that they still need to search to make sure that he's in. Does he have a criminal history? Yes. And we do have him identified right now. We're not releasing that until we can kind of, uh, again, one, locate him, and then two, uh, kind of pin down where he might be. Did the CHP officer shoot back? No, no. From what we understand, there were no shots returned, uh, but the officer was fired at. Uh, no injuries, so that's the best part about this whole thing. Nobody was hurt. Uh, CHP officer is fine. Uh, everybody else is fine. Gandhi, we saw a video of a neighbor nearby of shots being heard, multiple shots inside, and the time when this is like a shooting the officer. I would imagine, yeah, I don't know what video you're referring to, but uh, yeah, I mean, it all stemmed about four times. So obviously, I mean, again, he's shooting at CHP yeah. officers, so uh, yeah, we're treating him as such. Um, when is, will you guys, I guess, go in or shoot any um, smoke in there or anything to get him out? Is there any possibility that could happen? Yeah, so, very much so. Yeah. yeah, I mean, again, everything kind of goes through steps, and our number one goal, and I've said this time and time again, have a peaceful surrender. Have them come out. We're going to try every method we can uh, to have that person come out. Again, we're not 100% sure he's in there, so th there is that aspect of it as well, so uh, you know, we'll work on that. How much longer are you guys planning to be here? As long as it takes, because again, we have a very serious crime, obviously very serious public danger, so until we can deem that house safe, uh, we're going to be here. Uh, SED is here, and it also says uh, CINT. Yeah. yeah, so SED is our SWAT team, center our negotiators, so that's a critical incident negotiations team. Um, so they're the ones who 
you know, you see the movies about the hostage negotiators and all that stuff, but that's them, and they are highly trained in dealing with people, not just in hostage scenarios, but people that are experiencing mental distress, um, high stress situations, whatever they're going through. But again, number one goal, have them come out safely, have them surrender.